Welcome back guys, what I'm doing now is simply sketching out basic polygon shapes to then actually add the details in the next step, but make sure to be using a light pencil or uh, as I'm drawing here in digital so I can delete uh, whenever I want. And uh, to draw basic shapes is not that hard, that's why this village is going to look like a simple one, not many details uh, accessible to everyone that needs to draw a simple icon for the village. And uh, as you can see now, I'm actually sketching out details for uh, the houses. That's why I'm putting doors, uh, chimneys, and later on I will even put some texture, both for the walls, both for the rooftops. I'd like to make clear that to draw in isometric style, and uh, as you can see, not all of these houses are actually in a perfect isometric style, is not that hard. You just need to take some extra time and make sure that some lines are parallel to one another because uh, if they are not, the isometric look will not uh, appear. As you see right now, I'm inking and adding even some smoke to the chimneys and uh, I take this moment to tell you that this village is not meant to be a full illustration. This is just an icon that you will be using to symbolize a village into your fantasy map. So you will have to scale down this illustration or take inspiration from it because as you can see to draw blocky rectangular uh, shapes in isometric styles is not that hard just take some time and uh, out of patience but you don't need to be a skilled artist uh, or uh, to have been drawing for years or ages or anything else as you can see now I have skipped the whole uh, texturing and detailing part because you can uh, come up with them for yourself I think it's better for your creativity just try to draw little bricks maybe, texture for the doors, and then proceed with adding shadows, which is super easy in isometric style. Just pick a side from where the light will be coming from, and uh, then draw shadows on the opposite side, and uh, that's it, it's uh, quite easy. As you can imagine, the light in this drawing is coming from the left part of the drawing, kind of uh, behind uh, all of these houses, so the shadow will be on the right side. And as always, to finish it off, I will add some highlights on the opposite side, where actually the light is uh, coming from. And um, that's it. You can skip this part, I think, in uh, on paper. Or you can simply do a layer of pencil and then erase it, where uh, do you think the light is bouncing, to create this uh, three-dimensional effect. I'm just adding a little bit of grey to symbolize the sky. And then we are done. But remember that if you're scaling down this illustration on your fantasy map, you won't need all of these details. People just need to recognize a house, a basic shape of a village, and uh, you'll be good to go. This is the final result. I will attach the final scan as always in a few seconds, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Let me know if you'd like to see some particular tutorials.